All right, guys. So the 84 three-quarter ton C20 I have. Uh, it's a GMC. Yeah, 84, 84 GMC three-quarter ton C20. I wanna, I wanna get it out of its hole and see if I can get it cranked. I've never heard it run, so I don't know anything about it. I do know it needs a starter. I've heard it crank over and the solenoid keeps kicking it out before it will start. So I do know I need to get it in my shop and get a uh, get a starter on it. And while I the starters, while I'm putting the starter on, I'll be charging the battery up for it. Let me turn it around, show you what truck I'm talking about. I'll try to walk over there, but my neighbor's dog was just losing its mind a while ago and. I don't know what to do about that damn dog, but anyway, let me let me get you turned around. All right, so here it is. Let's see if we can sneak over without that little pump losing his mind. I bought this truck. I've never heard either one of those. I've never heard the dually run. It's a six-two diesel, and this is a five-seven three-quarter ton. I've never heard either one of those run. I've heard the dually run, I've heard the Ford run. Of course, I've, that's my wreck truck. The yellow truck doesn't have a motor in it. But these two here are a mystery. I don't think the 6.2 diesel works and I'm not really interested in putting that much time in it. But I do wanna try to get this going. Like I said, I, I wanna make this a daily driver. It's a pretty nice truck. So let me get down to the shop. The dog's cooperating right now, he can't see me. It's funny, he can hear me and never never bark, but he'll, as soon as he lays eyes on me, he loses his mind. But anyway, enough about that dog. So let me get this in the shop, get it up on jack stands, get the starter swapped out, and see if we can't get it to crank. Crank over and start. it rolls on its own all right i better get in it before he takes off with it all right so let's do a quick view of this truck overview i guess it uh i bought it a few months ago i haven't done anything with it other than just haul it home put it in the line and just let it wait so gmc and I, you know, it's a GMC and I keep calling it a C20, but on the side it says 2500. I don't know if GMC calls their trucks C20 or if that's a Chevrolet thing. So, anyway. Yeah, it's a Sierra Classic 2500. It's had a quick paint job on it, like a little sand and shoot. It's got a little body damage there and some core support damage which is no problem i got i got some stuff to fix that i think i got a, i know i got a fender and possibly a core support an extra one the inside wouldn't take much to fix it up it's custom it's been customized <laughs> We're gonna take care of all that. Headliner's falling down. It's got a crapped out seat cover. So I do. Door shuts good. It's a pretty good size run here. Just some, like I said, it, it's a quick repaint. It's got some hail damage. It's nothing we can't take care of though. Oh. same with over here the door's a little rough i do know that the windows work Let's check it out oh there's a i'm gonna clean this thing up but and show you guys but there's a heck of a run right there definitely be painting this one A very clean, I don't know clean, but a very complete unmolested engine bay. 
that needs to be cleaned real bad. We'll get out here and clean it up. No water in it. Check the fluids. It's one quart low. Look at that, it's clean. Look how clean that is. So that's a good sign. I do know the motor turns over. So let me let me get under, get the starter off, and we'll get a hot battery on it. See what it'll do. Alright, so have it off. It's got some issues. It's got a bolt missing. You guys can see that anyway yeah there's the bolt missing actually the gasket is hanging out the side of it right here so it's no bueno i got a new one right here put on also the tags say that this thing's been sitting since 04 2004 so i did go ahead and unhook the we'll go ahead and unhook the oh I'm making the drive strong. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I've unhooked the the fuel pump. When I unhooked it, the fluid did come out, but man it's it's some nasty stuff, so I've got a jug full of gas. Let me get the let me get the starter on. We'll be back. All right, guys. So I've got the I got the starter on. Got the fuel pump rigged up for with a fuel can full of it. I'm gonna take this little paint cap and uh, pour some gas down the carburetor. Do a cold start. Let's see what it'll do. First time I guess it's cranked since sometime in 2004. So let's see what it'll do. I've already taken the wing nut off, but just to let you guys know, I mean, there's there's all the dust. I mean, it's not even been, I haven't tested the starter yet. I got a hot battery on it. Let's fill this up with gas. I guess I'm getting it everywhere, that way it'll sure catch the whole shop on fire. That ought to be enough. Pump it up, see what it'll do. I'm not playing with you guys. I seriously. Uh, we don't have no, nothing goes in gear. I just went in gear there.
No reverse. That's crazy. Let me just bump it so it does. <laughs> it just cracks right up. That's that's crazy. So anyway. <laughs> so man, I am happy. I am so freaking happy. This thing cranks. It uh it, it don't sound bad. It could use a, a major tune up because it's obviously been set for a long time. Uh, fresh oil, fresh plugs, some wires. See if I can't get it to, to quit smoking. I mean, it, it does have a little bit of smoke to it, but man, just I really wasn't expecting it to even crank, much less crank and idle. I mean, it didn't give me no trouble. Pump it up a few times. Uh, fuel pump still works. I mean, it, it, that's that's great. Now the it, I don't have no reverse. Transmission may be shot, but I, it's probably a 400 turbo, so I'll put a 700 R4 in anyway. Um, I'm, it's not that big a deal. It, it's, and plus, it may be low on fluid. It was low on, oh, my light. It was low on, uh, it was low on oil and it's low on water, so it may be just low on fluid, so. Um, it's getting late. I'm gonna call this a, a wrap. I'm gonna call this a success. Um, I'm gonna have to shim that starter a little bit. It was sounding kind of funny, but man, I'm gonna call it for this, guys. Uh, if you've never done a cold start or bought something old and got it running, it it could be addictive. I, I tell you, I mean, it. This is this is my second one within the last four or five months. We did a Ford that Ford pickup that's in my line. A buddy of mine, he uh, he was over here and. Said, I, I get that running. I'm like, man, there's no way. But he did. 15 minutes later, we're, we're pulling it out of its grave and driving it off with brakes. That's crazy. But anyway, man, it, if you don't mind, just hit that subscribe button, like, hit the bell. I'm going to keep videos coming. Whether I've got anything to do that day or not, I'm, I'm going to try to keep the videos coming. Uh, tell your friends about us. Let us know. Let them know that we're here and we're, we're staying, man. I'm, this is this is great stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep on working on them, and you guys, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, tell everybody. I won't say it no more. But anyway, I'm happy. Thanks.